everybody. I'm going to be working on one of my journals. This is a page I did recently. I'm not working on that. I'm going to work on this page. Uh, so first I'm going to put some white gesso on it. And I need a brush for that. <laughs> you, you can't see, but I have a ton of stuff right within my reach. It's so exciting. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use the white water on. Want. It's been so long since I played with stuff. I just. My gesso is thick and. heavy I have this this is super heavy gesso by Liquitex and sometimes I wish it were a little runnier so I gotta add water oh, I don't want to be influenced by this other page today so I am covering it up some of I used a uh, primary elements on the other page and those things <laughs> just get everywhere that the, those particles fine fine particles and after I put gesso on here while I'm working on the page I'm working on today, I'm working on my uh, a word for the year or an intention for the year. What I want my year to be filled with. And it's got a rebirth for me, a new beginning. I feel re-energized. I feel somewhat young again, even though it's taken me forever to heal from this last surgery. Um, but I will heal. Heal I will. And I will be in much better condition after having gone through the process that I did. And let me tell you about what's going on in June. In June, June is June 6th is the 75th anniversary of the Day of Days, or Jour de Jour, if you're French, which is D-Day in Normandy. When when our forces and Canada's forces and British forces and all those you know, Allied forces stormed the beaches of Normandy and essentially then one <sighs> defeated Hitler after a while. But they got control of France uh, pretty rapidly. Anyway, you know, relatively speaking. And the French do do remember. They do. And okay, because in 1986, I spent a year studying in France with Codafield. I am Cajun. Uh, my ancestors went uh, from France, a lot of them, and settled in Acadia, which is now Nova Scotia, in France. And, uh, and, and Canada, I'm sorry, Canada, and they, uh, when the British took control of that territory, that area, uh, they were given the choice of swearing allegiance to the King of England and denouncing their religion, Catholicism, and take, you know, becoming Anglican, Christians, or be exiled, or worse, because uh, 
quite a few of the men were put on boats with blankets that were infected with smallpox. Yes, biological warfare was used by the British in the exile of the Acadians. Uh, and they dispersed, and uh, mo most of them settled here in Louisiana, but a lot of them settled elsewhere. Different areas of our country. And, uh, but being as we have a big collection of French here, and French is my dad's first language. He spoke French before he spoke English. That's what they spoke at home. And his, he still speaks French with his sister. His, my dad's 80. His sister's 88. They, they don't speak French with me, even though I learn French. Because they, I grew up with them speaking English. Because when they went to school, they were physically beaten. Which is so... I'm, I'm looking for paper towels and I'm not seeing them. Right, so that's why I'm pausing right now. But this has to dry too. In any case... Uh, let me finish with the story. So, I, I'll finish when I come back. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So, I'm going to play with some of my new fresco finish paints by Paper Arts. Oh, I wanted to tell you, this is my um, big uh, journal by... Uh, from Ranger by Diane Reaving. Yeah. Uh, our journal. There you go. So. Cajuns. So, I learned... I uh, spent a year in France. Studying French. And, uh... Because I was... From Louisiana. Cajun. And majoring in French in Louisiana State University. We have CODAFIL, which is the Council for the Development of French in Louisiana. I applied for and got a scholarship to study in Angers, France for a year. Covered my room board tuition. I had to pay for my flight over. I also found out that I could apply for a scholarship for a Lions Club cultural exchange program that was that was for two weeks in July the first two weeks of July um, in Arcachon France which is right on the coast on the Atlantic coast near Bordeaux where they make all the big heavy yummy luscious wines the big Bordeaux wines mm -hmm. and they have oysteries there so we had oysters oh yeah yum 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 and uh, even though I didn't really eat oysters then I did eat oysters then because you know I was a picky eater as a child but my mama taught me well, whenever you're company and people offer you stuff, you eat it. The only things I never ate when people offered were tomatoes. And they knew I had a tomato allergy. So it was all good. Oh, that's when I learned to drink and <laughs> fell in love with Malibu. Malibu is so good. If you haven't had Malibu, oh my god. I thought I, had, I thought I had it green. I thought I, I thought I did then. I thought, hmm. I thought I had a green color. No, I don't. Oh, well. oh. Pumpkin soup. I felt pumpkin-y. So, I was very, ooh, ooh, I like the way this, ooh, this is, 
a plot goes over the other color, very, oh, it's translucent. Ah, oh, oh, I like, ooh, I like acrylics when they can be, trans, when they're translucent. And a lot of craft paints aren't translucent at all. See, this shows the opacity of it on it when they, they have this. Craft paints, like you can get at like Apple Barrel, but like at Walmart and stuff. I want paint. Um, no, I'm going to stick with three colors. They, um, they, they have no, no, they, they're, you see this one's totally opaque. They have no translucency to them at all, ever. Put a bit here. Oh, this is a little translucent too. I'm just having fun with this. Okay, so I'll go to France. Oh, I, I found out about this, the, the Lions Club pro, well, about the Lions Club after I found out about the code field. I took French one my first semester in college. I was going to go to med school. That was my goal. I wanted to major in, double major in biology and chemistry because I'm always an overachiever. And I wanted to go to med school and become a doctor. And my mom had gotten sick a lot when I was younger. She had many heart attacks and, and, and stuff starting when she was 48. And my mom had me young, so that was when I was in high school. And it kind of, she had nerve damage in her arm. And it kind of made me come to the point where I was like, you know, I really, mm, no, I'll pass. So, um, I changed. I changed my mind that semester and I decided that in, I was going to go to France in three years. I had the plan because I, and, and I have always been a planner. I don't know who instilled this in me, but I always have a short term, a long term and midterm goals in life. And my short-term goal right now is to heal from this surgery that I, that I have and to get my get putting YouTube things on again get YouTube going again my YouTube channel going that's two short-term goals that I have my midterm goal is going to France in June to get back to, to kind of relive what I experienced in 86 and 87. That was in 86 and 87. I backpacked all over Western Europe at that point because that was before the wall came down. Mm -hmm. Yep, 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 this is during the Cold War. Had a lot of great experiences there. My mom and dad didn't believe that they were, you know, I can't believe that as a 20 year old, my parents put me on a plane and just for Europe for a year. So, I did come back for Christmas though. I was kind of homesick. I'm like, can I come home for Christmas? <laughs> I really want to see y'all. And they let me. They bought me a plane ticket. And then they came and visited me in March, my parents, and on our Easter break, and we traveled all over France, me and my parents, and did some pilgrimages to Lourdes and stuff. And that's when, that's where I learned how to draw a standard, because they were in a car, and uh, yeah, it was standard, because everywhere you go in the world besides the United States, and Canada, it's standard. Automatic cars just are not really available. It's still kind of 
wet. You see, that's why it's kind of messing up. But I'm pulling. Okay, I think I'm going to let this dry and tell you more. Uh, oh, about France. So, June, I'm going to France with my daughter, Camille Anna, and two of my army friends. One from Florida and one who is living now in Oklahoma whose husband is still in the military. I met both of them at Fort Bragg when I was in the Army station at Fort Bragg. They were in my unit. They're very sweet ladies. They were both in the same unit I was in. One was a fellow interrogator like me and the other was a PSYOP specialist. And uh, they are really fun. We are going to do a 75K rug challenge in 20 hours in honor of D-Day. 75K. That's 50 miles. And it's from Omaha Beach to St. Mary Belize. Yeah. We're going to do that. Isn't it fun watching paint dry? Uh, yeah, not so much, huh? Okay. What do I want to put on this next? Hmm. I was, I don't know if I could emboss on this. I gotta let it dry. I'm gonna dry this with a uh, wonderful heat tool. I'm gonna stop this because it's, it's nasty to hear that sound. I'll be back before you know it. I dried it really well. And now with Versamark ink, I will try, see if this works, stamp a flower from the Dilusions Fancy Florals. And then I might emboss it. And then see about painting inside of it with other colors. See if it works. I see the ver the verse mark ink there. So it should work. Yes, 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 yes. The challenge of getting it back into the container. It's marking your book. I think I'm gonna do like this. And like this. Oh, that worked. I should have put, oh, yeah, I should have, I should have done a little, uh, it worked nice, very nice, very nice, there's, there's, I should have done a little, the little thingy thing around, but I can, I can always clean it up a little bit, you know, like, well, not that one. Clean up where you have extra all around. Hmm, I like that. I'm going to emboss it now.
and that's done. Mmm, I like. I like it like that. Yeah. Not only are we going to do a rug challenge, we're doing this with a company called Go Ruck. They make rug sacks, which are amazingly wonderful rug sacks and equipment to do rucking. It was started by a veteran who was in special forces who uh, did a lot of rucking, so he knows all about rucks. And my uh, first husband back in that day in the army it was a special forces soldier a weapon sergeant i was married to him for three years why not anyway um that was a long time ago in a land far far away we are gonna uh go look go ruck.com uh, one, another midterm goal that I have is to start a rock club here. So people come rock with me. Good luck with that. I know. I know. I know. I need to have good luck with that. Mm -hmm. I think that one would need to go right there. What do you think? Yeah. So let me do this. Where I went to school is in the department, which is directly south of Normandy. Really close. Should I do this? So I think I want to, since we're going, and the most expensive thing is the flight, really. We got an Airbnb for the six of us for a week at like $1,000 or something. I don't know. Some nominal amount. Um, and... For the week, we're going to be doing the rucking stuff because we're doing a couple of other rucking challenges too. Tina's doing three total, two heavies, uh, heavy ruck challenges after the 75K. I'm doing a light challenge, my first light challenge, after the 75K, three days after, which will be at the end of the second heavy Tina does and I think my friend um, Tracy whose daughter is come who, whose daughter is the same age as my daughter last child she's got six and who will bring her daughter on the trip since my daughter's the same age uh, serendipity there you go right there serendipity right there uh, And we're gonna, uh, Tina can only stay for a week, but I think Tracy will be able to stay longer. And if she does, I'm going to have her and her daughter come with me and Camille. We're gonna go to Angers, where I went to school, in the Loire Valley, where they have all the beautiful chateaus, and we're gonna go to all the chateaus. And we're going to also go to Versailles. And then we're going to go to Paris for a week and do the museums. And hopefully there won't be any chaos going on there when we're there. But we have good military training. And we'll be, we'll be in four of us, so it'll be cool. Let me do this.
Martin, I just want that. Single flower. Me. Coming back. Making the comeback. Because, you know, Camille's got to go see the Mona Lisa. So she can see that I'm telling her the truth when I say it's smaller than you think it is. Because... Coliseum. I thought the Coliseum was bigger than what it is. Really. It's small. My high school football stadium. My junior high football stadium was bigger than the Coliseum. Yeah, what you gonna do? Because I know with the way things are in Europe right now, and it looks like it might not change for a while. Thank you, Diane Reedley, for a beautiful flower stamp set. I know what I want to do. I figured it out. tenacity should be my word for today for the year tenacity I'm pretty tenacious this is this die on me why did it die what how can a sharpie how, how can I make a sharpie not work anymore Didn't like the surface? Mm. That's odd. That's weird. Maybe these sharpies are not the right thing. <laughs> I've got other things to play with, such as, okay, 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 <laughs> just trust Korea. But you're gonna work. You know what I'm not remembering to use? Uh, Cause they're up on the top. Look, look. Oh, now look at this, this is working. Oh, well, yeah. Okay, so these are going to work great. So what I want is a little dark here. I'm going to use my fingers to blend. Having options, you know.
Oh yeah, I like that. I like it, I like it, I like it. I like it a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. And tenacity. That is me. Tenacity. How do you spell tenacity? admit I uh, walked away from this because I was tired and I don't even know what but my life got crazy and I'm having trouble recovering from surgery but life goes on and I am editing videos to put up I'm putting up a video right now the third one of my haul videos and I turned and I'm like oh, the only thing left to do is put tenacity so that's what I did and I'm finishing this page up because I really don't think it needs anything else. <sighs> that's my word for the year, tenacity.
because I have it. I have tenacity. I do finish, endure, whatever. So I started in February of 2019. Actually, I started in January, too, thinking about it. So that's my word for the year, tenacity. And I'm gonna stick with things, and I'm gonna make sure I accomplish everything I want, and I hope you do too. Have a great weekend, week, whatever. My daughter's on spring break this week. Yay! I get to play with her. Okay, bye.